Tonight, federal agents and Bibb County investigators hoping someone watching right now may have the tip that could lead them to the people behind a huge gun heist in Macon. The pair stole around five dozen guns during an early morning break in at Howard's Pond on Mercer University Drive last week. Ramey Cohen shows you what we know so far. Kevin Truitt trains guard dogs and was at Howard's today to talk about safety. He says increased police presence would help. Nobody is immune. I mean, it can happen to us in our homes. You hear about it every day. According to the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, two masked burglars entered Howard's through a large hole knocked into a brick wall. Howard Reed owns Howard's. He didn't want to appear on camera, but talked to us about the theft that happened around 2 a.m. last Wednesday. Reed says he plans to add more guard dogs and concrete barriers around the business to increase safety. Dogs are definitely a deterrent and can definitely help to solve this problem or alleviate the possibilities of it happening more frequently. Reed says it's been close to 10 years since thieves last got onto his property, but with around 60 stolen guns, it marks the first time he's had to make an insurance claim. Kayla Don Smith and William Lee Jackson are frequent customers at Howard's. People are only expected that guns kill people. No, people kill people and that many guns just out and about that's a very scary thing because you don't know who has them. They could get into like kids out of the hands, you know, like the, like the wrong kid, take it to school and have another mass shooting. Reed says for the first few nights after the break in, he had a sheriff's deputy guarding the place, but he says it's too expensive to continue that. The majority of the people that are doing the most violence and, and things that create problems for us as a society are not the ones that have legal guns, legally registered guns. Reed also said he's planning on adding infrared cameras to increase security. In Macon, Ramey Cohen, 13 WMAZ News. The ATF is working with Bibb investigators on the case. If you have information that could help solve it, investigators ask you to call Macon Regional Crime Stoppers at 1-877-68-CRIME. We're taking a closer look at gun thefts and what's reportable to authorities across the country. In 2021, licensed gun dealers reported nearly 3,000 burglaries. That's around eight per day nationwide. Georgia reported the third highest thefts, trailing only Alabama and Texas. The lowest? Hawaii, which reported four guns stolen in one burglary. Again, those numbers include reports only from licensed dealers, like gun shops and pawn shops. Federal law requires they report lost, missing, or stolen guns. Individual gun owners and private citizens don't have to report. In February of this year, the ATF reported more than one million guns were stolen from private citizens in a span of five years. In Georgia, possession of a stolen firearm can be a felony. The punishment carries a prison sentence of five years. Macon was ranked fourth in firearm recoveries in, among states back in 2020.